Today I'm going to discuss about duties of nurses in Germany. It is somewhat similar with other countries but there are also few duties that are not allowed here when we compare it with other countries. That's why don't forget to watch this video till the end. If you are new to my YouTube channel then please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And namaste welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to discuss in detail about duties of nurses in germany but at first i would like to give an overview about um, nursing education and health system of germany nurses get their education usually from a special nursing school which lasts for three years it is a vocational training which is called in german ausbildung during these three years of Ausbildung, they will also get paid every month. There is no special university education uh, for nursing in Germany like other countries, but if they want, they can also do after Ausbildung, Bachelor or Master University. Nurses can get education as a general nurse, as a pediatric nurse, geriatric nurse or midwives. If you want to know more about Ausbildung in Germany, then please watch my video. I'll put the link here above. Nurses can work in different health sectors like hospitals, nursing home, home care, um, rehabilitation center, clinics, dialysis and so on. In Germany, health insurance is compulsory for each and every person. That's why when they come to hospital for treatment, then almost all of the cost of patient will be paid by insurance. That's why it is a little bit different when we compare it with countries like Nepal. All the necessary things like medicine, medical supplies, food, clothes, drinking water, everything will be provided to patient from hospital. That's why there is no need of visitor to stay all the time with person, they can come for certain hours to visit and return. Normally, normal ward in Germany consists of many rooms, um, like single bedroom or two bed or three bedrooms, and a nursing station will be somewhere in the middle. Each patient get a bell. They can ring the bell if they need something from nurses or if they have any problem, the nurses can come to them as soon as possible. Normally, nurses work with a um, nursing assistant, which is called in German Pflegehelfer or Pflegehelferin, uh, with nursing students, with um, unpaid volunteer, which is called Praktikantin or Praktikant, or paid volunteer, which is called FSZ, uh, which is Freiwillig Sozialsias. So let's dig into duties of nurses. First one is basic care. Giving basic care is one of the most important goals and duties of nurses. Usually in Germany, we have lots of um, old age people which are unable to um, take care of themselves. That's why nurses uh, must ensure that their patients are getting basic cares like uh, maintaining their personal hygiene, assisting them um, to maintain their oral hygiene, giving bathing, um, hair care or back care and so on. Um, second one is monitor patient condition. Normally nurses spend lots of time with uh, their patient. They can check their condition regularly. They can also observe any signs and symptoms. This will help uh, in early detection of any abnormalities and nurses can take action quickly. Third is major vital signs. Vital signs like blood pressure, oxygen saturation level, respiration rate, heart rate, temperature, blood sugar, and pain scale, and so on, should be measured by nurses. It is very important because it determines the state of patient condition. Fourth is physical assessment, like observation, palpation, auscultation, percussion. These four things are the physical assessment uh, which should be done by nurses because it also helps to detect any abnormalities uh, of the patient. Fifth is medication. Medication is one of the most important duties of nurses. Nurses are responsible uh, for administering medicine. 
and they are uh, responsible to distribute all oral medicine administering uh, intravenous um, infusion or giving injection like soft cutaneous or intramuscular injection and so on nurses are also responsible to prepare all the medicine needed for next day in a medicine dispenser i think it is a new thing uh, for those who are in nepal because in nepal we don't have to prepare all the medicine by ourselves because it will be um, bought from visitors and we will find always in patient side but here we have to prepare all the medicine one day before for whole day in a medicine dispenser sixth is a performing special procedure nurses are responsible um, to perform certain special procedures like insertion of urinary catheter insertion of nasogastric tube suctioning and wound dressing and so on um, seventh is mobilization mobilization is very important because it prevents from thrombosis helps for proper blood circulation it also prevent from bed sore and so on that's why nurses must ensure that their patient are mobilizing regularly if they cannot do themselves then they need to assist them so for those patients who are bedridden who are unconscious they need to be positioned regularly two to three hourly from nurses we can position patient in different positioning like supine position right lateral or left lateral position and others next one is bowel and bladder assistance if patient has bowel and bladder continence but they cannot go to the toilet themselves the nurses will help them with urinal and bedpan assistance but if they have um, bladder and bowel incontinence then nurses will help them in changing their incontinence pad or diapers regularly next one is managing medicine and medical supplies i think these duties can be different uh, when we compare it with other countries like my, like my country nepal um, here we have to check regularly if we have enough medicine or medical supplies for patient because they will get everything from hospital from ward that's why we need to check regularly and if there is not enough then we need to order everything in time last one is documentation documentation is one of the most important part and duties of nursing they need to document patient condition their improvement or degradation their problem nursing intervention for these problems and so on so now i'm going to discuss three duties of nurses that are not allowed here in germany so first and second thing i'm going to discuss together it's insertion of iv cannula and taking blood samples in germany um, opening iv line or taking blood samples are actually doctor's duties except for icu nurses but nowadays they can do this this uh, procedure if they have special training and if they get a delegation certificate uh -huh. from doctors third is blood transfusion it is absolute doctor's duties it is not allowed here in germany nurses duties also depend upon their further training which is called in german fachweiterbildung such as icu nurse or anesthesia nurse oncology nurse um, psychiatric nurse palliative nurse pain nurse wound nurse um, war in charge clinical instructor um, hygiene nurse and so on that's all about today's video i hope you got lots of information about nursing in germany if you liked my video then please don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much bye